busy right now. I'm in the middle of making an amazing dessert. Hi everybody! That wasn't a real phone. It was a banana, which will be featured in today's dessert. Bananas are my least favorite fruit. I think that they're kind of disgusting. I'm sorry. Ugh, I shouldn't say that. I should love all food. But to be honest, I'm not a banana. A banana. I'm not a banana fan. Um, but I can eat them and I know they're good for me and they're going to be good in this dessert because this is a fruit dessert. Actually, this is typically a mango dessert, but I don't have mangoes. I only have bananas and strawberries. Okay, so what I'm gonna be making, I actually don't know the name. I looked it up and now I know it, but I've never heard it spoken, so I don't even wanna to try to pronounce it because my pronunciations have historically been so bad on this on these videos. But it is a Hong Kong style dessert. And they're like thin little eggy crepes wrapped up in, in like a pillow, like a little puffy square, and they're filled with cream and usually mango, but in this case, bananas and strawberries. So, um. That might not sound that crazy. You've probably had crepes and cream and fruit in one form or another, but this way where they're packaged as little pillows, I don't know, it's just special and delicious and yummy and I, I love them. So I'm going to try to make them. Follow me and let's get started. Take my banana and come with me. All right, don't mind these two massive, oh, where are you? statues behind me. Um, that's just Bob and Bill, my sous chefs. Okay, so what we are going to do, actually I, I did something without discussing it with you, but I melted a little butter because that's one of our ingredients. Here is my melted butter, a couple teaspoons. I, I didn't measure, but technically it should be two teaspoons. So what I want to do, what I want to try to do is make three types of these cute little crepe pillow packages. Um, I'm going to do banana, strawberry, and matcha green tea. The matcha green tea would most suit a kiwi filling or like a green fruit because it's going to be like green and then white cream and then green. But I don't have a green fruit. I don't have kiwi. So I think I'm just going to do like a cream filling, just cream. <laughs> Ideally, I would have something to to color the the crepes so like the author of this recipe said she used some beet juice for the strawberry crepe to make it pink i don't have anything like that so sadly i'm going to resort to food coloring i know it's not good i could just have non-colored crepes but i want them to look cute <laughs> let's get started and uh, okay it says pour the milk into a mixing bowl into 
what we're gonna pour it from to the pan. So I have three, three measury bowly spouty cups. I want to put it in the batter. to make these all their own special batters. So I have my matcha here. I'm a little worried it's just super watery. You know, it's also still kind of hot. I'm gonna let that cool down because I don't want to scramble my eggs in my batter. So I'll do my food colorings. I'm gonna do strawberries, gonna be red, you know, pink. One, two, three. Oh, I think I got four in. Probably fine and I rinse this off so it's not like lumpy so here is our pink batter beautiful and over here we're doing banana it's already yellow maybe I won't color it should I add yellow you know we'll go natural banana will be natural <laughs> it is time to make the crepes this is a part I'm most nervous about because I've just like had so many experiences where I make really thick tough awful crepes they're basically just turn out being like weird pancakes but I'm gonna try I actually went to the neighbors to borrow this beautiful nonstick pan because we didn't have one so I have my heat on low the pan is quite hot though and I'm really worried to overcook them so I'm just putting it on the lowest, lowest, lowest setting. So I guess my first experimental crepe will be a matcha crepe. definitely super delicate and beautiful I mean this is gorgeous it's so green I might actually use my fingers Ooh. Ooh.
great news. I have finally finished my crepes. Here they are in their beauty. Yes, some funny colors. Honestly, the pink looks so unappetizing. I feel like the green are the coolest. Oh, that's the crazy one. Anyway, so now these need to cool on the table and I'm going to go and whip cream, sugar, and vanilla. So please join me. Production time. I whipped my cream and I'm always scared that I'm gonna over whip it into butter, which I may have done because it's very firm. But I also think it needs to be for these pillows. So, okay, I have washed my strawberries. I only have four, it's really sad, but I'm gonna make it work. And I have my banana, which I guess I played too much banana phone because it is, it's looking a little beaten up. dollop of cream in the center here it needs to stay nice and high because this is our pillow and I've never done this before so I don't really know if that's like enough cream but we're just gonna go with it and I'm gonna put my large strawberry rectangle right inside and then I want to be really gentle so that I I don't lose my my height uh, I don't know if this is right uh, okay I wonder if I'm supposed to press down a little bit I'm not sure. I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, no, no. dishes and when I come back we can try our little cream pillows and mm -hmm. see how they came out oh this looks good what is this all right hi everybody you know this taste tester Alexandra and she's here to help me try our beautiful little uh, Hong Kong pillow crepe fruit cakes I mean they're nothing like a fruit cake but How'd you get those pink? Uh, food coloring, actually. But this is matcha powder and this is plain. So there's banana, strawberry, and nothing in here because I don't have kiwi. I guess I could put like cucumber inside. Anyway, um, just go ahead. She's going strawberry. Me too. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Mm. I think they're great. Mm. Actually, traditionally, they have mango. But I'm very happy with these. And they're cute. You could, like, serve them at a birthday party, which mm. we're doing today. Because we do have a birthday boy in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thoughts? It's good. Sweetness, texture, taste. Anything it's you would change or add? Perfect. It tastes exactly what you think it would taste like. Sweet, eggy crepe, and, you know, fruit. Mm. Thank you for watching today's video and please write comments and subscribe and give me that big thumbs up if you want to if you don't like it give me the thumbs down but tell me why tell me what I did wrong what did I do to offend you we'll just sit here and finish off our little
pillowcase.